Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Taurus's general guidance message for the upcoming week. Now if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you in your situation, please give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to pull out my pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. Be sure to hold the question in your mind until the end. So let's dive in. Most important message here for Taurus spirit. What do my Taurasian friends need to know? Do they need to see for this upcoming week? Please and thank you. Empress coming out. We'll see how that plays out into the reading. The energy surrounding you, Taurus. We have the death in the reverse, the king of pentacles, the wheel of fortune. The challenge is the three of cups, the page of pentacles, and the five of cups. And in the outcome, we have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. There is definitely an energy of needing to take care of yourself, needing to put yourself first in the situation. Taurus, I feel like there's a particular person that you're currently involved with. And I feel here that this is something that you're holding on to. This is something that you're having a hard time letting go of, the Death in the Rivers. We're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. This isn't to be critical or to beat yourself up over. Uh, just simply that this is something that eventually you're going to have to let go of. You're going to have to walk away from. Now maybe for some of you this is involving like a living situation, something like that, where it's not so easy to walk away with the understanding that... When the timing is right, the universe will come in and assist. So be open to new experiences, okay? More yeses than noes. The challenge here, Taurus, it's like you're afraid that you're losing out on something that really isn't in alignment with what you truly desire for your life. And honestly, I feel like you already know this. This is just confirmation. Now again outcome. I feel like there's friends, there's family that come together that help you to get out of the sticky situation. So again, be open to opportunities. Let's clarify the death in the reverse, the king of pentacles, the wheel of fortune. A lot of earth energy. So this is Taurus energy, but this can also be Virgo and Capricorn. You look at this person as if they're your soulmate, your twin flame. I don't really feel like that's the case. I feel like this is more of a karmic connection than anything, but this is something that you've yet to realize. Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Do I stay or do I go? What if there's nothing better. If not this, then something better. There's always something that is, it's not like they're going to be better people. It's just in better alignment with what you want your future to look like. Does it make sense? So you don't have to settle for something that you are unsatisfied with, especially if it's causing conflict, it's causing chaos, it's causing you to feel not worthy or not desirable, right? You have to do what's best for you, and that's what the Empress, the Ace of Cups, symbolizes: Taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. Now, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. Lean into your support system. Don't allow your pride to get in the way of asking for help. 
because you would do the same thing if you were in the same position. Judgment energy, there's definitely a need to free yourself from this connection here, Taurus. The longer you hold on, the harder it's going to be to disconnect. It's also going to start draining in other areas of your life, career, health, definitely see a lot of pentacle energy so that has to do with money and health so be mindful of holding on to things that are challenging that are toxic that are resistant to your energy let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward taurus thank you guys again for all the love and the support for information on the rituals that we do here on the channel for ritual kits, for personal readings, the drawing that we're going to do at 20,000 subscribers, it's all linked below in the description box. If you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or you can comment below how it was helpful. You never know how your story could help another person. See Taurus, the advice the bottom of the deck we have the devil and the tower energy so the devil is that karmic energy this also is symbolic of like the seven deadly sins right holding on to things that are toxic that are draining that are no longer serving you putting you in this lower vibrational state now you can hold on to this as long as you would like eventually the universe with the tower energy will come in and knock this over, make you reevaluate your decisions. You have to get clear on what it is that you want your future to look like with or without this person and take action towards that. The Ace of Pentacles is new opportunities, new beginnings, new blessings coming in, but you have to be open to those experiences in order to accept them, right? If you're not open to new opportunities, new opportunities are going to come in. Pull the soul journey message to sum up your reading. Some of you are trying to build something like a career or a business, and this is getting in the way of that. So you need to be mindful of that energy. Success can mean many things to the ego self, but the soul only knows one triumph. That is to love. When your soul is no longer manifested in the physical dimension, it's time to reflect on how successful it was with that endeavor. The soul doesn't take care, doesn't care about how big your house was, how nice your car was, or how many bank accounts you had. The soul only cares about how you expressed love and compassion. In the infinite wisdom of the universe, the more love you demonstrate, the more you will receive. And even your ego's definition of success is altered. Your notion of how you would perceive success will change. The material things that you thought would make you happy won't have the same appeal. This person that you're needing to release yourself from, Taurus, they're causing a lot of conflict in your life, maybe even subconsciously or unknown to you and you really need to take a look at the situation and get clear on the position that you want to give this person in your life in the energy that they're showing up right now so not expecting them to change not expecting them to do anything different than what they're showing you in the present energy let their actions speak for themselves so taurus I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys pull out your pendulum to get a yes or no question give you a second to hold that question in your mind Most important message here for Taurus spirit. What do my Taurasian friends need to know? That's a no. That is a no. 
a Taurus. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing time and space with me. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.